Hi, this is Gilbert Gottfried, and I'm here with my co-host, Frank Santo Padre, and this is Gilbert and Frank's Amazing Colossal Obsessions with uh, the late Ray Ball. <laughs> Speaking from the grave. For a guy who dies every week, he's lively. Yes. <laughs> Pretty lively. We are here at, uh, at Earwolf with uh, Verda Rosso. And uh, I, when you introduce yourself, and I always think you, <laughs> I always think, oh, Gilbert Gottfried, not Godfrey, oh, which yes. I see on social media. I love Gilbert Godfrey. He's my favorite comedian. I love when people come up to me on the street. And they'll say, oh, I know you, Arthur Godfrey. Right. The famous <laughs> uh, anti-Semite. Famous, yeah, you're a Jewish anti-Semite. Yes. They're very rare. <laughs> Paulie, how are you? I'm good. You caught me taking a big drink of water <laughs> to get ready. Fine. I want to be lubricated. You're doing Danny Thomas spit take. <laughs> You've got your own theme music. We're going to do Gil. <laughs> You should get a royalty. I uh, I should. Can I mention that Elizabeth is here? Uh, yes, Paul's lovely uh, wife is here. Elizabeth. She's she's sweet and she's kind and she's, she's doing the queen's wave. From she's <laughs> she's normal. She's, surpri- she's, normal. she's surprisingly, surprisingly normal, normal and well adjusted. <laughs> um, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know what I mean by that. I guess what I'm trying to say badly is any woman that would be with any of us. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is is under suspicion. I would never like to be yeah. part including, of a... <laughs> including yeah. my own, uh, my own wife. Uh, Richard Pactor is a fan who sent us this great book. We did this a couple of weeks ago. It's called The Versatiles. I found it. You can actually still buy yeah. this this sucker. It's on Amazon. It, it, it was published in 1969. So what's fun about it is you go through the bios, and half of these people are still alive at its publishing. They're all dead now, yeah. pretty much, except for Norman Lloyd. Wow. Who's hanging in at, yeah. uh, what, 103, 102, Jeez. or something like that? Can you believe Olivia Haviland is kicking? I, I know. She's a woman's and gone with a friggin' wind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's still with us. That was the name of it, Gone with the Friggin' Wind. <laughs> I don't want to invite her on the show because she's litigious. <laughs> she just sued somebody. Uh, Richard Pactor sent us this great book of character actors. You guys know how much we're obsessed with character actors. Gilbert loves it. It's his, it's his obsession. And we're going to quiz him on a couple of these character actors. And Paul has done the research. What do you think, Gil? Uh, hours oh, and okay. hours. Okay. I want to see. I guess I'm supposed to take my phone out then is what that means. <laughs> you can take your phone out and do a little research. Didn't you prep the research I beforehand? Did prep, I did prep some research. So what do you need your phone for? Well, because I forgot what I prepped. Look, I gotta... when, he, when, when he has the phone, it takes him a year and a half. So <laughs> Here we go. Do you know, Gilbert? And I'm, I'm going to jump around, Paul. Okay. Well, last time we did A through D. Yeah. We did Lionel Atwill. We did Claude Aikens. Yes. We did Margaret Dumont. And this time, just to give you a hint, and I shouldn't even give you a hint. Yeah. We've moved past D. Ooh. So do you know what letters would come next? <laughs> e? <laughs> what group of letters? So here's e? some, and yeah. I'm not going to go alphabetically because I don't want you to get ahead of me. Some of these you'll know and will be easy. Some will be challenging. I still am kicking myself for not knowing Robert Donat from last week. Did we do Robert right. Donat? We yes, didn't, do, we didn't yeah. do him. I think we get you. We gave you Edward Arnold. Yeah, last time. That one I got. Yeah, we. I ga- got every one of the others. Leo G. One. Carroll. We gave you. Yeah, that's an easy I can't one. See which one stumped you. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you got. A, you got Lionel Atwell quickly. Yeah, Margaret Dumont was a layup. That wasn't. Yeah. We weren't really even quizzing you. Yeah, that was just a hand. Henry Daniel was the one that Henry stumped you. Henry Daniel. <laughs> yes. Yeah, from the Body Snatchers. That was the one that stumped you. Otherwise, yeah. you were golden. Yeah. These might be easier this time. These might okay. be hard. Paul, I'm going to jump around. Okay. Who is that gentleman? Oh. Christ. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you the second sheet. I just gave you the one with the writing on it. Okay. Let's do this again. Who is that gentleman? Oh. Very famous. He has an Oscar, in fact. Ah. He won his Oscar in 1947 for playing, uh, for starring in a movie that I love to talk about on this show. He was in Of Human Bondage, Charlie's Aunt, Two Hitchcock Pictures, Foreign Correspondent, and The Trouble with Harry, Lassie Come Home, Bonzo Goes to College. <laughs> Uh, big film. He won an Oscar in 1947. He's a Brit. Very familiar. Frank has loaded up some quiz music. Oh. I like that, Frank. That's a nice touch. Very familiar, but okay. I'll give it to you now. With this hint, I'll give it to you. 
He won his Oscar for playing Santa Claus. Oh, what the fuck's that guy? Or Chris name? Kringle, yeah, if uh, you will. Oh, oh, fuck that guy. Oh, shit. Edmund Gwen. <laughs> Edmund Gwen. Okay, we stumped him with the first one, Paul. Okay. Yeah, you got he, anything um, juicy on was, Edmund Gwen? He was in another movie I bet Gilbert likes. What's that? He played the scientist, Dr. Harold Medford, in Them. Oh, he's in oh, Them. How could see, I not give you see, that one? And that's a funny thing. Like I should have given you that one. <laughs> them is the respected one, and I like the ripoff better, Tarantula. 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 That's a fun movie. <laughs> See, if I'd said them, would you have gotten Edmund Gwen? Oh, maybe. Okay. Maybe then, yeah. You've seen those Hitchcock pictures, he haven't was, you? He was yeah. In four, yeah, he was in four Hitchcock pictures. Four? I only wrote yeah. two down. Which the Skin one? Game, Strauss, Great Waltz, Foreign Correspondent, and The Trouble with Harry. Look at you. I've been outdone by Raybone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've been Rayboned. <laughs> All right, here's an easy one. Here's a layup for Gilbert. I like to throw in little easy ones to encourage him. Well, we don't okay. want to embarrass him. Right I'm sorry. I'm just a little disappointed that we're really just going to let Raybone slide by. We're not going to say anything. <laughs> well, Nothing, we've only no we're, we're on limited time here, Frank. Okay. Here we go. Who's that? He has with a quick glimpse. It looks kind of like Fritz Feld. It is Fritz Feld. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I'm, and he's got his hand by his mouth, too. Yeah, I picked the, I, his, uh... I pick the one that you would get. Yeah. Fritz, Fritz Feld, I mean, he built a career out of popping his... Can you do it? Uh, yeah. Can you do the pop? Not really. I can't no. either. I can't but either. But he'd do it really loud, and he was always the maitre d'. Yes. And it's always like... Ah, table for two, and then pop his mouth. The man had a long career. He died at 93, and he's in a lot of movies. He even pops up in an Odd Couple episode. He does. Yeah, yeah. He, he was hysterical. Jerry Lewis used him a lot. He's in The Ladies' Man. He's in The Patsy. He's in The Errand Boy. Yeah, uh, oh, he was hysterical. Secret Life of Walter Mitty, The Phantom of the Opera with Claude Rains. He's, oh, man. He's, he's in... Um, and he had a career well into the 70s. Sunshine he, Boys, History he, of the World in the 80s. Yeah. He just <laughs> found something that worked, and that was it. Yep, yep, he yep. He was in Bringing Up Baby. Yes. The movie fared so badly at the box office that Howard Hawks was fired from his next production. Insane. Oh. And Howard Hawks is an iconic director. Yeah, exactly. He was born in Berlin, Gilbert. Yes. And, and, and lived to the age of 93. Wow. And worked a very, very long time, Fritz Feld. And he, I believe he has a mention in the Gilbert documentary. Uh, yes, 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 at the end. I talk <laughs> he, about Fritz Feld. I don't know, maybe you said this while I was looking somewhere else here, but he had a recurring role on... Lost in Space. Do you remember who he was? Fritz Feld was recurring Fritz Feld. on Lost in Space. Recurring role of Zoomdish, manager of the Intergalactic Celestial Department Store. <laughs> <laughs> Zoomdish? <laughs> he was Zoomdish? <laughs> you would try to recover who Zoomdish was, I know. For this blows my mind. <laughs> wow. Paul, that, that's my favorite tidbit of information this wow. month. <laughs> Fantastic work, Ray Zoomdish. Fantastic. Okay, here's a <laughs> Fritz Feld. I had to throw Fritz Feld in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. My wife right. was, I left the book at home and I called my wife and I said, read me everybody in there from E to G. Yeah. And my wife started reading them. And when she stopped at Fritz Feld, I said, nah, got to put yeah, that in there. Yeah, for yeah. That's, a, that's an homage. Okay, this is an actor <laughs> who's in everything. Who is that? Oh, Christ. And he did voices for Walt Disney. He may have. He's yeah. in was a million the, movies. Was he the voice of the rabbit in uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. He had one of those voices. He had a squeaky voice. <laughs> and he talk, he kind of talk like this. Yes. But it was more, I'm not even doing him well. I yeah. wonder if Steve Stolier could do him. Uh, he kind of talked like this. Yes, he had a, he had a breathy voice. Uh, uh, more, uh, more like that. And I swear he was in a Disney cartoon. He's the drunk Santa Claus in Miracle on 34th uh, Street. Right. The one that's the one that's fired immediately, and Edmund Gwen gets his opportunity no. to play Chris <laughs> Kringle. Does that help you? Um, he's in Scared Stiff. He's in How to Marry a Millionaire. Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, born right here in New York City. Um, he's in Abbott and Costello meet Boris Karloff, the killer. Or oh, the killer geez. Boris Karloff. My friend Irma, Kiss Me Deadly. Big movies. Jailhouse Rock. I mean, he did everything. God. But, you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Raybone? 
I think you're talking about Percy Helton. I'm talking about Mike Percy Helton. Percy Helton. Just talking about Percy Helton. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. He, uh, he apparently had ambitions to be a leading man, and he was in some children's theater, and they made him shout, and he ruined his voice. Is that true? That's what they That's say. That's great trivia. Ruined his voice. Oh, man. Became permanently Sad. hoarse. Yes, because he talked he talk like this. Remember his voice, Gilbert? Yeah. And that, yeah. yeah. So that's it. He, 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 and he, and he, the funny thing is, is it made his career, yeah. that voice. Yeah. yeah. He's. Uh, my wife was watching White Christmas, and he turns up as one of the conductors on the train, and I started screaming Percy Helton from the other room, and my <laughs> wife thought I had a, a, now, seat, did a he, grand mal seizure. He, I'm, I'm positive he did a voice in a Disney. We'll try to find like that out. I have Superman. an actor here in my stack. That did a voice. He did in a yeah. Disney film, not him. But he may have. He may have. Percy Helton did some a lot of appearances on some shows produced by Paul Henning. There you go. Yeah, he played a lot. I think he did a lot of TV in Beverly the sixties and seventies. Beverly Hillbillies, Junction, there Green you go, Acres. Paul Henning shows. He played like a storekeeper yeah. or the general oh, store yeah. owner, yeah, you or saw a bellhop or a train he was, conductor. He wasn't in Alice in Wonderland. I I don't have it here. It's no. possible. I'll try to know. find it. Yeah. Okay, Gil. Move. Uh, voice. Uh, I know. I've I've heard in cartoons. Moving right along. So you got the first. You didn't get the first one. You got the second one. Now here's another layup for you. And you know who this is. Who is that lady? Oh, oh, Margaret Hamilton. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Yep. My question with her was, to me, she's, I mean, these are character actors some people have heard of, some not, but Margaret Hamilton's a star as far as I'm concerned. Well, she was in that one in iconic that one film. Thing, yeah. yeah, she's I mean, in that, that one it. film, the, the legendary film. I had to throw her in there because... And, and a lesbian. As Bruce Valanche pointed out, yes, yes a lesbian. <laughs> I believe were his, were his exact she, words. <laughs> although you look at her and it's not really a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the poor woman. She was beloved. I she, heard her she whole was, life. She fought against that typecasting because kids were frightened of her, and she loved children. And and L- you know, her adult I, that was before the Wizard of Oz. Exactly. I remember seeing an episode of Mister Rogers. Yes, it's a famous episode. Yeah, he brought her on just to show kids what a nice That's, lady she, she loved is. children. I think she worked as a school teacher, or she worked uh, volunteering with children. Uh, spent all of her adult, born in Cleveland, I think. Do I have this right, Paul? Yeah, born in Cleveland. She lived to the age of 82, but spent her adult life in New York City. Uh, she worked with Fields and My Little Chickadee. She's in The Invisible Woman. Do you know this oh, picture? Oh, yes, Universal yes. picture. Um, Oxbow Incident. Uh, Capra used her in State of the Union. She's in Brewster McCloud. <laughs> Yeah, I heard Which Austin yeah. Pendleton was supposed to play. Oh. He was supposed to play Bud Court's part, and wow. remember he told us that? Yes, you yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I heard, yeah, everybody loved her. Yeah, Margaret Hamilton, beloved woman. What she, you got wasn't, on? she wasn't a mean dyke. <laughs> <laughs> you, you find you How mean progressive dyke. of you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on her, Paulie? Uh, not much more than what you got. Let's yeah. see. F- see if you guys can that find she that. She, on the American Film Institute's list of 100 years greatest heroes and villains, she was number four. There you go. So Yeah. I think she was in a Partridge Family episode. Oh, here's I got actually a nice quote from the set. She said about Judy Garland, <clears throat> said, Judy kept us all going. When she came on the set, it was as though the lights got brighter. Her freshness and vitality are things I will never forget. There you go. Did she try to fuck her? That was a sentimental <laughs> moment. <laughs> oh, guy has to bring the room down every, yes. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> she was burned up. You know the story that she was on a. Yeah, she yeah. was in the lift. Yes, what she yeah. had to do. Then the fire her, flashed her costume, up. The, yeah. Flashed up the shaft and uh, and burned her. Yeah. Because she was wearing flammable paint. That's right. On her skin. And she, she, flammable makeup. She was and, off the film for a month. And months, they, months. Yeah. And what's his name mm. almost died? The original... Uh, well, Buddy Epson yeah. died because they put him in that... Uh, in that, uh, that The makeup had silver content. It yeah, had metallic it almost content killed him. That got into his lungs. I thought maybe he also had a burnt up shaft. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't turn into him. Yes. <laughs> bad enough I got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this, Gilbert? Uh, Who is this oh, famous, right. super, super famous character actor? He is one of the kings of the character actors. Not, shame, not, shame on you. Not, not Ken, not Jimmy Gleason. Jimmy uh, Gleason it yes. is! Look at you, you redeemed yeah. yourself. <laughs> paint, paint that, Norton, it's the people. There you go. Meet John Doe. 
And he also was the detective in Here Comes... Um, Mr. Jordan. Here Comes Mr. Jordan. Very good. Because, like, uh, the, the somebody else says something like, oh, we're going to crack this case open. And James Gleason goes, better call Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I love him. I love Meet John Doe, too. Who is the other guy in that who plays the detective? And here comes Mr. Jordan? Yeah. He was a great actor, too. Now I'm blanking. He's also in a guy named Joe. Which yeah. Was the, the Spencer Tracy picture, which was remade by Spielberg, as always. He He's just in the clock. Had- he had that great face and voice that was always like that. He was wonderful Talked character. Out of the side yeah. of his mouth. James, James yeah. Gleason. Yeah. yeah. Gilbert knows him as Jimmy. Apparently yeah. they were they were <laughs> yeah, yeah. Born in well, night, born one in New York time, City. I I had lunch with uh, with Maxine Marks, you know. Oh, Gr- that's Chico's right. Chico's daughter. And she kept referring to him as Jimmy Gleason. I love it. Born in 19... Uh, he was, I don't know. I lost the year of birth. I had what it here. What the fuck? Who was the detective? All right, which in movie here was comes that? Mr. Here comes Mr. Jordan. Here Mr. Comes Mr. Jordan. I had written down where he, uh, what year he was born, but I don't have it. He starred in, he starred in silence. Nineteen. His career lasted from 1922 to 1958. Holy shit. Which is a hell of a run. Yeah. Longer than you've been in the business, yeah. Stephen Gilbert. <laughs> He's in The Clock. He's in Rockabye Baby with Jerry. A lot of these people work with Jerry Lewis. Yeah. It, yeah, keeps, it keeps coming up over and over again. I guess Jerry Lewis appreciated the old character actor. I'm timing the show on my phone, okay, Paul, yeah. so I can't right. actually look up. Yeah, no, I, I uh, got Here uh, comes Mr. Jordan. I, I got it up, but I, I'm not sure which one's a detective. <laughs> uh, read, read the cast. Uh, I, I just lost it. It's coming back. Okay. We don't get very good Wi-Fi uh, or very good yeah. uh, signal in this room. Yeah, no, the internet's only like 400 meg per second. Where? I only have two bars. Oh, you got to get on the Wi-Fi. Oh, well, that's the problem. They spared no expense on the Wi-Fi. What do you got, Yeah, I Paul? can't get I, let me Let me keep working on it while we okay. go to the next one. All know. right, Gil, you impressed me. Jay? By getting Jimmy Gleason. Uh, here's another layup for you. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, Sydney Green Street. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Another go. one. Another one way stands way above the most of the rest yes, of this group. Yeah, absolutely. Opinion, and a guy Green who Street. got a late start in films. 60. 60. 61. 61. 61. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Yeah. From Kent, England. Town called Sandwich in Kent, born in 1879. Which to give you some perspective, wow, that was uh, what like fourteen years after Lincoln was assassinated. <laughs> Holy Christ! Uh, started in films at the age of sixty-one. Maltese Falcon being his first film, good place to start. Casablanca, Ma- a Passage to Marseille. Three, he has three that strangers. line in Casablanca where he says, "Leaving Casablanca now would take a miracle." And I'm afraid the Germans have outlawed miracles. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping you'd gr- give us a little Sydney Green Street. What a script by stuff. those Epsteins. So I turned up some, how much time we got? This is yes. a minor diversion. So here, you turned up it, what? I turned up <laughs> You got you, one of our favorite words from the Maltese Falcon. Our go. single most favorite word. Gunsel. Gunsel. Oh, Gunsel. 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 Yes, yes, of course. And w- so w- Gunsel. Wilmer, Wilmer the Gunsel. So yeah, that's right. So there's a word another word I'd ever heard called catamite. Which is oh. a reference to an older man keeping a younger man for sexual purposes. Oh, and like, like me and Gil. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, Dashiell Hammett catamite. replaced replaced. They couldn't use catamite because that was way beyond the bounds of what was fascinating. Respectable. So uh, Hammett replaced it with gunsel, which came from the Yiddish word for little goose. And it was really a synonym for catamite. So and they got away with implying it without actually that's saying fascinating. it. Fascinating. Ah. That's good that trivia. Good? And that device is borrowed or used by the Coens in Miller's Crossing. With the, the older same idea. Younger, yeah. Yes, the yeah. same yeah. idea. And it's yeah. funny big, that big Hammett fans. Peter Laurie and Maltese Falcon, it he's like playing it. They're hinting that he's gay. Like he's got a perfumed business card yeah, that Humphrey the, Bogart sniffs. Got the handkerchief. In he's his he's got yeah. Couldn't get he, away with that then. He's got a cane that he keeps rubbing against his mouth as he's talking That's to right. Bogart. Yeah. It, it's really yeah fascinating stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, stuff you couldn't uh, you couldn't do in nineteen. Yeah. 41. But yeah. these guys figured out a way to do it. So, that's so what's what funny. is what is that guy's name oh, for Christ's sake? You can't get on the internet. 
I'm sure like everybody <laughs> at home is screaming out his name. Not well, why don't we bring them on? The- <laughs> All right. Ha- hang on. Hang on. I'll play All some right. waiting music for Gilbert. Hang Chirapa. on. I'll find All it. All right. Here. I got the cast up, but I don't know who you look at. Go ahead. Okay, Robert, Robert Montgomery. Claude, no, he was Claude the lead. Rains, Evelyn Keyes. James Gleason. Edward Everett Horton. Rita Johnson. John Emery. Donald John. McBride. Has to be John Emery or Donald McBride. John Emery. Uh, Donald McBride plays Inspector Williams. Oh, okay. Donald McBride. Donald McBride. Donald McBride. Okay. Evelyn Keyes, I believe, married John Huston. Oh. Speaking of the Maltese Falcon. Okay, get another one. Who's this? Oh. oh. A very famous face. Oh, Christ. Is that Billy Gilbert? Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just toying with me now. <laughs> I, You're toying I, with me. I feel like Paul Newman and the Hustler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, well, you're, you're playing possum. Yeah, like when he says, well, I win sometimes. And then Murray Hamilton goes, oh, I bet you do. I just bet you do. <laughs> How great would Murray <laughs> Hamilton have been on this show? Oh, he would have been. We had to settle for Eddie Deason's yes. Mur- Murray <laughs> Hamilton stories. Not Murray that I didn't love Hamilton, Eddie. Hamilton, what a Great actor. A great career. Um, hey, you were talking about Disney movies? Yeah, there you go. You Billy, found what I Billy found. Billy Gilbert was the, he had a long, drawn out sneezing routine that became one of his trademarks. <laughs> And he played Sneezy in Snow White. Appar- <laughs> according to what I found, too, he was uncredited but played Sneezy yeah. in, the, in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Gil. And and he he's in that book uh, that what's his name wrote about the great comedy team? Leonard. Uh, Leonard, Leonard Malton. Leonard, Leonard yeah. Malton wrote yes. it. And and the foreword is by Billy Gilbert. You bet. And he worked with every one of them. Well, yeah, Chaplin and the Great Dictator. He's in the a Night at the Opera with the yeah. Marxes. Uh, he's in. Uh, well, he worked with Stan and Ollie. Uh, yeah. Laurel discovered him. Yeah. 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 I think he. I have to go with, through the list and see if he worked with Stooges Fields. Maybe the Stooges he worked with. I think uh, qu- quite possibly. Oh, Martin and Lewis. I think he worked. Uh, with. Let's see. He was discovered by uh, Stan Laurel. He was he was <laughs> in a dressing room in an opera house, which I love. Born in Kentucky. He's in Mad Love, so he worked with Lori. Oh man! He's in Anchors and Way, so he worked <laughs> Anchors and Way, so he worked with Sinatra. Uh, a lot of B pictures. He, two on the list. Yeah, he was a great actor. When my wife and I watched um, uh, Stan and Ollie recently, and she had never seen a Laurel and Hardy short, yeah. so I showed her the music box, which Billy Gilbert yeah. features prominently in. Oh, I don't know that. I'll oh, you got it. It's the one where they push the, the, the <clears throat> trying to get the piano up this incredibly oh, oh, yeah, yeah, long yeah, yeah, staircase. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very famous. And Billy Gilbert shows up as he does in a lot of that stuff. He was a gag writer for Hal Roach Studios. Oh, geez. so he's all of those things. Yeah, and he a was very famous. Very face. funny. Uh, and now I get to stump you again, although this is a very famous character actor. Let me see if you know this face. Who's that? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. You recognize him? I recognize him. Oh, maybe I am. We're going to get you here. It's a hard one. Yeah. Yeah. He's sort of a Porter Hall type, a sort of a yeah. Franklin Pangborn type. Yeah. But he's neither of those guys. He's in The Prisoner of Zenda, The Man They Could Not Hang, The Karloff yeah. Picture. Uh, Mad Made Monster, he's in. Oh! One of your favorites. Oh, wow. Son of Flubber, he's in Who's Minding the Store again, Jerry Lewis. Yes. Uh, his name is Byron Folger. Oh, jeez. F-O-U-L-G-E-R. Uh, somebody who turns up in a million, he's in They Live by Night, he's in Wonder Man with Danny Kaye. He's one of so- and he, even even Captain Nice he was on in the oh. 60s. So you got to say that for Jerry Lewis. He appreciated those old-time characters. I tell characters. you, I really stumbled on a ton he, of he them. He had 489 credits. There you go. IMDb. And nobody, oh, and nobody knows the damn man's name oh, <laughs> after man. 489 credits. That's a shame. Yeah. I mean, he's. I, I knew it. I don't know why. He's one of those guys that was on my radar. Who's that? New person. Wait a minute, is that the original Hale? Yes, it's yes, Alan Hale Sr. Yeah. <laughs> you got it even before Frank started the timer. <laughs> Very good. Alan Hale Sr., the father of the skipper. Yeah. Alan Hale Jr. And what did you find he, on he him? He would be in, the, I, he was in a James Cagney movie. Everything. Yeah, everything. He worked with. Bogart. Yeah, he worked, he worked with, with everybody. He had a long career in a lot of films. Died young at 57, but he worked with Gable, uh, Cheney Sr. 
Oh. He had a long, silent career. He worked with Barbara Stanwyck, Edward G. Robinson, Cagney, Errol Flynn. Um, he's in a human bondage, Stella, da- Stella Dallas, uh, Seahawk, Inspector mm-hmm. General with Annie Kay. What did you find, Mr. Well, Paul? Well, he, you guys may be familiar with this. So this was new to me. He, when he became a character actor, it was at Warner Brothers, and there were a bunch of them that became known as the Warner Brothers Stock Company. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Right, and he also played Little John. He did famously in three different role, three different movies. Yes, it's, he was in the Silent Robin Hood. I don't know if I even have. I got Errol yeah. Flynn. Yeah, yeah, Robin Hood, nineteen twenty-two, and 22. then Rogues of Sherwood Forest in nineteen fifty. There it you was go, Little Gil. John again. Wow. Was aspired to be an opera singer huh. originally. What do you think? One yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. Here's the <laughs> last one. I hold in my hand. The last envelope. <laughs> Remember when, when Ed McMahon and Johnny yeah. would, do, would do the car oh, yes. and everybody to and applaud. Everybody to applaud. <laughs> yes. And then Carson would insult the audience. Yes. Me the sewers of Rangoon back into your <laughs> back up into your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I remember May your only son win a Farrah Fawcett lookalike con. <laughs> <laughs> but probably written by Pat McCormick. Who's that? Oh, oh, oh. That one's just for you. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not him. Oh, jeez. Uh, He's been what, mentioned is recently. Is it Arnold? Edward Arnold? No. Uh, no, Edward Albert. He was, uh, mentioned, uh, uh, he was mentioned when we had Dick Cavett here. Holy fuck. Oh, God. He's so familiar. Yes. Very, I, if, I, just, I love how we're doing a visual quiz in, a, in, a, in an audio <laughs> medium. <laughs> and the audience funny. is screaming, I can't see the faces. He's, he's he has very bushy been, eyebrows. Oh, he's been in everything, yes. that guy. A European character actor known for his uh, evil parts, uh, evil roles, and uh, very, very bushy, prominent eyebrows. And Gilbert will now kick himself yeah. to death because with when Dick Cavett was here, we talked extensively oh. about... Oscar Hamolka. Oscar Hamolka! <laughs> oh, fuck! I am kicking myself. Now, how many people, there are 300 million people in the United States. Yeah. How many people would have that reaction to Oscar Hamolka? Only Homolka? him. Because there was... There are 300 million podcasts in the United States. No one's talking about Oscar there, Hamolka. There was a hus- hysterical moment. On the odd couple. Yes. I yeah. knew, knew you'd go to that. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack Klugman's on the phone. He goes, yeah, hi, it's Oscar. And he goes, Oscar Madison, how many Oscars you know? And his eyes pop out of his head. And he goes, you know Oscar Homolka? That's great. <laughs> right. A joke in, written by writers in 1972. Yes. For us. Yes. <laughs> for, yes. For the 12 people who knew I, Oscar Hamolka. I remember watching The Odd Couple with my mother. Very good. And we both, like, s- just screamed. Good memory. Good memories. He was married four times. That's a lot. Born in Vienna in, in 1898. He, again, in a lot of silent films. He's in I Remember Mama, Ball of Fire. Capra used him a lot. Uh, not Capra, excuse me, Wilder, because he's in Seven Year Itch. Uh, Mr. Sardonicus, Gilbert. Oh! He's in Mr. Geez. Sardonicus. <laughs> And his last role. Oh, that's right. He's his assistant. Correct. He's his last role was Blake Edwards' The Tamarind Seed in 1974. So that's another long career. These yeah. guys worked a long yeah. time. A guy like Byron Folger, would you say 400 roles? Yeah. Insanity. Well, it, it's, Fritz Feld uh, must have been at 400 things, too. Yeah, I mean, I, it's assumed they probably, what do you think? They make a probably like comfortable living, but not make it a fortune. They never right? become stars, but yeah. they're known and, and people recognize them yeah. and then say, I know I've seen you in something, but I can't. Right. I can't One place who them. never stopped working was Elijah Cook Jr. Uh, no, yeah. Wilma the Gunsel. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. That, that's also great. in an Odd Couple episode. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that yeah. one he was with the heel. Blinky. He was the heel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Blinky Madison. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get some Odd Couple people in here. I can find some Odd Couple writers. Uh, I remember in that Blinky episode, uh, Tony Randall is sitting down in a chair. He's and the optometrist. This, yes, yes, and this sexy girl sits on his lap, and and he goes, "Ma'am, you shouldn't be doing this. I have a, a what's that word I'm thinking of? <laughs> oh, a wife. A wife. Yes. A wife. <laughs> <laughs> Played by the vivacious, uh, the vivacious uh, Barbara Rhodes. Yes. As I recall, who did a lot of that stuff. Those Odd Couple episodes hold up beautifully. And and there's another part in that Odd Couple episode where a cop comes in and he's ready to close up the place and Klugman gives him a wad of bills and he goes, 
Well, let's shut you up for a while. And he looks, he goes, forever. <laughs> I think that was Billy Hallop. Oh! I think that was Billy. Oh! I think that was Billy. Do I have the right actor? Oh, this is going to kill me. That it's was... either Billy Hallop or the other guy <laughs> who was sort of like him. That, Don't mind me. That was going a off great on crazy episode. tangents. Okay, now I got to look up who that actor was. Thank you, Paul Raybone. Thank you, Gilbert. This was fun, right? Oh, this was you, a lot of fun. You love to go down character yeah. after uh, memory lane. Paul, thanks for doing the research. Yeah. What was that? Paul, Frank's got his own show going on here yeah. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> you want to take us out with a little Sydney Green Street, Gilbert? Oh. In honor of... Uh, I, I enjoy talking to a man who enjoys to talk. I distrust the close mouth man. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> See you next time.